Matt Coben here, Product Manager for Kramer's Via Products. Today, we wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how the Via Products can interact with a touch-enabled display. Any touch-enabled display that uses the Universal HID, or Human Interface Device Driver, has the ability to interact with Via. However, since the Via Collage runs on a Windows 7 platform, it has the ability to interact with any touch-enabled display device, even ones that require proprietary third-party display drivers like SmartBoard, or MondoPad, or Promethean Board. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using a Via Connect Pro connected to my touchscreen display here. The touch display is connected to the Via Connect Pro with a USB cable, just like the keyboard and mouse. The touch capabilities of the display will now work without any additional setup. Now that we've got a touch-enabled display connected to Via, I can interact directly with the Via software. Let's start a whiteboard session. Touch the VIA logo either in the bottom left-hand corner or in the top right, and choose the whiteboard. I can choose the pen in any color I'd like and directly interact with the main display. As always, these annotations can be saved and captured. The same is true for the annotation tools when the user is presenting something to the main display. I have two computers here that I'll step in. Now, just like before, we can open the toolbar, grab the whiteboard, and we can annotate directly over the user's content. Don't forget, traditional users can interact with the main display by going to Features and choosing Start Collaboration. Let's take a look at a few other unique features that VIA has to offer when connected to a touchscreen display. The participants list keeps a running list of all the participants connected to a session. When used with a touchscreen display, I have the ability to choose which presenters I want on the main display. I can choose to step them in or step them out directly from this display status icon. By clicking the button, I can step them out, or I can choose to step them in. Also, if you remember from our VIA vignettes, VIA enables the ability to share control among meeting participants. This is what allows collective document editing. With a touchscreen display, we can take this to a whole new level. Any participant can step in to wirelessly present to the main display, and then by clicking on Features and choosing Enable Control, they can share control with the other participants. Now that control is enabled, anyone, including that touchscreen, has the ability to control that PC. You can see by using the touch screen, I can manipulate that computer that has elected to enable control. Just as before, from the participants list, I can enable and disable display control. So just by clicking here, I can choose to enable or disable the display control for this specific Mac computer. You see now I can control the Mac. What I'll also do from the participants list is choose to bring in another user. Now I've stepped in, there's a Windows computer over there, and I've also elected to enable control on that computer as well. So what I can do now is I have full control over both my Windows computer and over my Mac computer at the same time. Adding a touchscreen display can bring VIA's true collaboration to the next level. Thanks for watching, and for more information, visit www.true-collaboration.com.